is good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new action figure news wrestling action figure news at that because i mean that's that's what we cover on the channel so we got some brand new wrestling action figure news for you guys we got some new figure images we got a brand new ultimate edition announced and we also have i know it's a, a few days old now but we also have the first ever aew ringside exclusive figure and it's a two-pack so let's go ahead and start off with that guys because i feel like a lot of people wanted to know my thoughts on this two-pack and everything like that so starting it off guys let's start off with the brand new AEW ringside exclusive two pack from the Unrivaled Collection. As you guys can see here, we have this bloodied up two-pack of Dustin and Cody Rhodes from their matchup, the legendary matchup that we got. Pro I mean, people will probably argue it's this or the Young Bucks versus Kenny Omega and Adam Page is the greatest AEW match of all time, probably. But I got a lot of tags in this over the weekend, and people wanted to know what my thoughts and opinions were on this two-pack, and I'm going to give it to you right now, guys. So I think it's pretty cool. You know, I'm not entirely, like, massively high on it. I personally would have liked to seen a unique character maybe Jurassic Express or maybe like a really cool two-pack where it's two figures that we haven't seen before with new sculpts and you know usually exclusives or something outside the box and something that people are really wanting but you know hasn't been seen in the main line or maybe something like that but we've already gotten both of these attires we've already seen both of these characters the only thing that's unique about it is the packaging they are two in one here you know you get two figures in this two pack and then you know they are bloodied up and we have a new you know we do have new head sculpts for both of them but it is just the two figures we've seen before with blood all over them i really love the packaging the blood and guts blood brothers unrivaled collection packaging that we got going on really sick stuff i do like it um i'm liking cody's head sculpt i think that looks great i love the blood on the figures um the only thing that I don't like about it is the heights of these guys. I know that a lot of people have been talking about it. Dustin Rhodes, I think his his Series 2 figure was way too short. I think I'm hearing reports that his figure was too short. It didn't really seem like he was as tall as he's supposed to be. I think he's supposed to be like 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six in real life or something like that. And his figure was shorter or at the height of other figures in that collection when he should easily be the tallest. At least that's what I've been hearing. And then you have Cody who comes up to like his shoulders or a little bit, um, you know, right at his chin or right above his chin and you know it's not the biggest deal i feel like you know if you're posing them around and stuff like that if they were in a match together you probably wouldn't be able to notice but if they're standing next to each other you probably are going to notice it and so that is kind of unfortunate that the difference is that big but i don't think it's a huge deal breaker i've seen where people are able to customize and fix the height of the issue obviously you don't want those issues but it is something that you know sometimes we get time to time we're still trying to figure it out we're still only on series two of these things and they they literally picked the worst year of all time to have you know a new product line like this of, of action figures so we got to give it a, you know we got to give them a break we got to give them a chance just wait it out it's all good wait till these things clear up I'm sure they're going to continue to improve and things will get clearer as we approach it. But it is definitely frustrating for collectors, but I think this is a pretty cool two-pack. It's not nothing that I would seek out, but if I had the opportunity to own it, I would get it. So that that is my thoughts on it. And I don't think, you know, I think it definitely could have been better, but I still think it's cool. And for any mock collectors, I think you guys are going to enjoy it a lot. But that is not all we have to cover here today, guys. Not only do we have the first ever AEW ringside exclusive pack, and they're two packs, you know, usually we only get one, but we have a full two-pack for that first one. One, but now we have the next Ultimate Edition. So the next Ultimate Edition that is going to be announced, guys, is another Shawn Michaels figure. So you guys already know that we have already seen an Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels or HBK figure. We got it just a few series back. It was Ultimate Edition Series 4. It came in the same pack as Brock Lesnar. So up next is another HBK. It is going to be King of the Ring 1995, Survivor Series 1995, or King of the Ring 1996. Now, honestly, I like all three of these attires. I honestly feel like maybe King of the Ring 95 is pretty similar to the one we got last time with the last Ultimate Edition, but I'm fine with any of them. I think I, I low-key want to go Survivor Series 95, but I literally would take any of them. I honestly do not care which one wins. I think that all three of them are great. I love Shawn Michaels. I do really wish we would, you know, we could have gotten a new character instead of a repeat character this early. Uh, I know that we're getting an Ultimate Warrior. We talked about this the last time we had an Ultimate Warrior. You know, th th we're getting, this is the second time we're getting Ultimate Warrior and the second time we're getting HBK, so I guess um, when they run out of guys, they're just going to rehash people. Like, I feel like Kane, Undertaker, you know, other guys. I know we mentioned Stone Cold, but we just saw that we are getting a Stone Cold figure. Randy Orton could have gotten one. Maybe Seth Rollins or Roman Reigns could have gotten one. Maybe Rey Mysterio could have gotten one. And so, you know, there's a bunch of guys that I think could have gotten one before Ultimate Warrior or, you know, Shawn Michaels 
you know, picked up and got their second figure in the series. So that is just my own thoughts about it. But these are the three. I will leave a link down below so you guys can go check it out and vote if you guys want to for the HBK because I think this poll is still live. So you definitely want to go get your vote in. I honestly don't know which one I'm going to vote for. Maybe Survivor Series 95. I don't know. You know, it's going to be luck of the draw. I may put one vote in for all three of them depending on how I feel. We're just going to have to see. But I do believe these are Amazon exclusive. I think moving forward, all the Ultimate Editions are Amazon or ringside exclusives so I guess we'll just have to see exactly about that I'm pretty sure that is the case though but Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels is the next one you guys can let me know which one you want to see down in the comment section below but we had AEW Unrivaled Collection 2-Pack Ringside Exclusive, the new Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels, and then now we are going to cover some brand new Championship Showdown 2-Packs, which Ringside did post today, guys. So let's go ahead and get into that. We have, first up, we have Randy Orton and John Cena. Now this one is, uh, you know, th these 2-Packs, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling them that much. It's definitely pretty cool. I think Mock, they look really good Mock. I like the side plates. I like the Championship Showdown logos all over the packaging, but... This Randy Orton, we've seen everything on it before. The head sculpt, the the everything. The John Cena, I mean, my God, it's it's the same John Cena. Same head sculpt we've seen a hundred times. Same, you know, everything with it. So it's nothing too immaculate. But, you know, if you want it, you want it. If you want to get these side plates for your little toy belt or whatever you want to do, guys, you know, go, go grab it. But it's just not a two-pack that I'm really excited about. Nothing new going on with it. The next one, guys, is going to be The Rock and Triple H. Another one that looks good, Mock. I think this packaging is just really, really nice. So it's really easy to, you know, to really enjoy the packaging on these. Uh, one thing I will say is that uh, this is probably the best two-pack out of the three. I like the Rock head sculpt. I like the Triple H head sculpt. They are both of their Ultimate Edition head sculpts, so that's pretty nice. I like the, the basic Triple H. He's got a knee brace on there, and it's pretty cool that they paid attention to the details. You got one large knee pad, and then one small knee pad, and then the knee brace, so that's pretty cool to see with Triple H. Ultimate Edition head sculpt for him, and then he does have... It's kind of funny because he has, like, his modern Triple H logo, but it's a flashback, you know, uh, figure, so I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then the last two-pack that we have is going to be Bobby Lashley and and Booker T, or King Booker, which is a really interesting two-pack, you know? Seeing King Booker and Bobby Lashley in a two-pack, and you got the Bobby Lashley side plates right there, you got the five-time Booker T side plates. I really like that silhouette of Booker T back there, but it is the same two head sculpts we've seen, really plain Jane attires for uh, for Bobby Lashley. The, the Booker T attire is fire. That King Booker attire in the white looks really, really clean. I think we've already gotten an elite of that. Maybe it's not exactly Exactly, but we have gotten something very, very similar. Uh, we need an updated, or not an updated, but we need another King Booker or Booker T Elite. I feel like, you know, we, we've gotten a few, but I'd like to see another one. So there's King Booker and Bobby Lashley. You guys can let me know what you think of these two packs. You got Randy Orton, John Cena, uh, The Rock, and Triple H, and then, of course, you have Bobby Lashley and Booker T. We also have the AEW Ringside Exclusive 2-Pack with Cody and Dustin, and then the Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels. But I think that is pretty much all of the stuff that I wanted to cover here today. Um, I want to know down below, guys, what you think about the Shawn Michaels. Do you think that maybe we should have gotten an Undertaker? Maybe we should have gotten a Kane? Maybe we should have gotten some other character? I think that Rey Mysterio is definitely deserving. Randy Orton's deserving. I would have thought by now we would have seen Roman Reigns or Seth Rollins. It seems like they're getting rid of... I know at the beginning we heard, oh, every set is going to have two, and one of them is going to be a legend, and one of them is going to be a current... Uh, top guy, but it seems like they've kind of differed, you know, deferred away from that because in the Ultimate Edition series, uh, is it nine with Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ric Flair? That's obviously two different legends. Both of those guys are not back in the company. I guess you could argue Edge and Macho Man, but Edge is kind of, you know, he's kind of current because it is based on a current. And then, you know, he is still with the company wrestling today or he's about to return from injury. I'm guessing at the Royal Rumble, which is two months away. So I don't know. I, I don't know. You guys can let me know down below if you would like to see you know, different guys for the Ultimate Edition. I definitely would have liked to seen Undertaker before we got another Ultimate Warrior or Shawn Michaels, but I like Shawn Michaels. I definitely would have preferred to see an Undertaker over Ultimate Warrior. I can I can live with another Shawn Michaels because there's so many Michaels attires we're missing, but for Ultimate Warrior, I feel like he's got 600 figures, but you know, it is what it is, Brad. I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just going to report on the news and then listen to you guys down in the comment section below, but thank you guys for watching. I need to give a comment random shout out for yesterday's video, so give me just a sec. So a huge shout out to Zach the Same 
Tank for this comment on our last video. He says, The Rock's face on the packaging looks like he wants to take a dump, and the actual figure is the aftermath of that dump. Referring to the Elite 81 Rock, and yeah, Brad, that figure, uh, it did not, uh, it did not meet expectations, Brad. It definitely needs something done to it, but... I don't even feel like doing nothing to it, man. That's just, like, that figure is just crap to me. But a huge shout out to Zach the Saint. I thought that was a funny comment. Wanted to give it a shout out there. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.